Regan Smith in the 78, Brad Keselowski in the deuce, and down on the inside is Casey Kane. Casey in uh, in the five and Regan in the 78. They made slight contact, but when they bounced off the wall, this is how fast these guys are being told slow down, slow down. But you can't. There's nothing you can do when there's a wreck in front of you. Marcus Ambrose, Kyle Busch, and the 29 of Kevin Harvick. Hard to tell from that angle whether Kane might have thought he had cleared Smith and moved up in front of him. I think he was hoping that he had cleared him. Shows you right there hey, how Darryl, quick everything there, happens. This, Darryl, there just isn't any way that Regan Smith knows Casey Kane's coming up. You know, Regan has it. You see cars side by side on the straightaways here. Regan just made his move and uh, Casey Kane moved up. I think it shocked. Watch. He thinks, Regan thinks I got a shot down the straightaway. Casey says I'm taking that spot. There isn't anything Regan could have done to have prevented that crash. Yeah, I don't know if Regan maybe even touched the wall and caused him to turn left just a little bit into Kane because there was a lot of room there. And that reminds you of Bristol, doesn't it? One car wrecks and a bunch more is going to join him. Yeah, you can see the five car nose into the uh, outside there with Regan right in his blind spot, I guess you'd say. Yeah, the, that's one of those racing deals, as they say here at Bristol, Tennessee. Regan was driving down the straightaway, and Casey said, good, I got him cleared, I'm moving up, and look what happens. Cars from fifth through 13th place were involved. Ride with Kevin Harvick. Been a fast, fast, fast. We got back 18 here. We got damage here. And now Jimmy Johnson's view. No damage here, boys. He's on the high side. He's on the high side. You're clear right now. Good job. Ryan with Casey Kane. With the spotters call, did you think you were all set and clear? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't, I know what I, I know what I had. I, I feel horrible for Farmers Insurance, for Chevrolet, for Quaker State, everybody at Hendrick Motorsports. This is the worst way I could start a season. I have the fastest car every single week, and I and I something happens right there. There's no reason to force the issue at all. I'm just taking my time, just cutting the bottom, simple. And uh, I'm under Regan Smith, like as, as slow as he was. I knew that. I knew when my spotter cleared me in the center, I would be clear on exit because he said, "All clear, good to go." So when I get to the exit, I knew Regan was slow, and then he was back there, you know, and I just, uh, I listened too much to my spotter, I guess, but I, I, I hate it for, uh, for everybody. It's, it's really disappointing and discouraging to have as fast a race cars as I have and not have nothing to show for.